before we get started with today's video, don't forget that we have another giant pageant happening this weekend. On Saturday, the 2nd of December, starting at noon Eastern, we have a very special 24 hour charity live stream raising money for children's hospitals. From 1 pm Eastern, we have a two hour time slot where we're going to be hosting another pageant for you guys, but this one is special. Not only are we raising money for charity, this is the biggest prize wave we've ever had. Not only will first place win 100,000 diamonds, second place 100,000 diamonds, and third place 50,000 diamonds, we also have something special for a one time only pageant that we've never done before. First, second, and third will all win a Halo this time. Third place winning a Winter 2018, second place a Winter 2019, and first place winning a Winter 2022. So if you want to win a Halo, come by to the pageant this weekend over on twitch.tv forward slash bplays and twitch.tv slash distractions media, links down below and on screen, where we're hosting our charity event and we'll be giving three Halos, three chances to win one this time you guys, with the biggest prize wave pageant stream we have ever had. Now, on with the video. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we go started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack up B when buying Robux or Premium. As many of you guys will already be well aware right now, we have a brand new Glitter Frost shop update coming in literally just a few days. By the time that you're watching this video, I believe we're a day away from the shop update you guys, which means it's time to start planning your budget of what you're going to actually buy in this new update. So obviously you guys, there is so much going Going to be happening with this new update and so much that Royal High is going to be releasing in the shop. But I'm sure you're trying to figure out, especially if you're somebody who doesn't have a ton of diamonds to spare, which things you're going to prioritize when buying in this update. Particularly because this seasonal update does mean that it's only going to be available for a temporary period of time. As you guys know, when the new school update stuff happened, it was kind of easy to plan out your budget because you could just buy what you wanted now or whatever was affordable now and do the grinding later since it's going to be staying permanently. But this update will not be permanent and some of you may not actually have enough budget to cover everything you want so if you are struggling and only have a limited budget what do I suggest that you guys do? Well if of course you are somebody who only has say 200,000 diamonds at the most to budget then I would possibly consider buying this set only because a set is going to be the most expensive thing and probably the thing that is most hyped about because we haven't had one now in over a year and I imagine it will be the hardest one to trade for. Advent items obviously you'll be able to get because it's fairly cheap and people will gift you it anyway you don't have to actually buy that yourself but anything else in the shop like locker decors and things like that they're not necessarily that necessary for the game obviously if there's other accessories you'll probably be able to trade for those much easier than the set but locker decors obviously you can't trade for them but you can always buy them next year we know they're available because they always stay showing in the shop you'll be able to buy them next year if you really really want one but personally you guys i think i would be focusing primarily if it were me on getting the new set because of how expensive it is now if you more specifically want to focus on buying stuff that's only available for winter and you can't trade for then obviously going ahead and grabbing the locker decor will be important to you because you won't be able to trade for it after since they are only purchasable and not tradable so when they go off sale that's it you can't get them again until next year obviously the set and things like that you might be able to trade for later as long as you're not against waiting a long time for the prices to come down now the thing i think a lot of people really need to think about as well is the advent the advent does require you to send gifts to other people if you want them to gift you back they're not likely to just keep gifting it to you if you don't give things back to them as well so it's definitely something you'll want to think about this time with this update do you want to make sure you get all of the advent items and if so then you're going to want to make sure that you're gifting to other people to make sure they want to give to you too now we do have a discord chat over in my discord server that we open specifically during advent season in case you're struggling to find people to help you if you want to find a friend to send gifts to hop on over to that chat in my discord server the link is down below and they will find some people there who will help you with the gifting now there is something you need to think about really carefully as well you guys especially if you're going to be trading for things the new halo will come out of course and will no doubt be very exciting we've seen the last few halos that have have come out have been really cool. All of the halos are unique this year and this is going to be the first ever Glitter Frost Halo. Now I believe we've got Glitter Frost and then we need to get through the Everfriend season. Then after that we will no longer have the first ever for the halos because obviously this will be the first ever Glitter Frost and the first ever Everfriend after that. But then after that we've already had a Flowering Season Halo, then Tidal Glow, then Evening Fall and so on. We'll have already had them. This will be the first ever Halo that will be considered a Glitter Frost Halo. So you're probably going to want to consider whether or not you want some first generation if you are somebody who hasn't played Royal High originally, like some of the people who have the first generation Winter Healers, or of course the original Glimmering Light Healer and Corrupt Healer, you might want to at least be up there in the first generations of the new style Healers. So if you do want a Glitter Frost Healer, it's probably going to cost you a lot. 
Right now on Trader with you guys, the Dark Fairy Halo is still trading for around 4.6 million diamonds, even though the evening fall season is coming to a close and it's still winnable. Obviously, the price will start to come down when people start to focus on the beautiful new Glitter Frost Halo. There is something that is worth bearing in mind. The Solarix Halo has come down in price to around 1.3 million, but that's probably because it's a little bit less exciting than some of the others. The Starlight Halo, you guys, is still going for 1.4 million, which is still lower, but there is some Thing to bear in mind. The autumn 2022 it's still worth around 4.4 million diamonds and still hasn't come down in price purely because people love it so much it's obvious that when a unique halo like this comes out it may well stay up in values you never know. This glitter frost halo could come out and be something so unique we've never seen before and it could end up really high in values so you'll want to consider whether or not you want to get one. Now as an example of what it could look like here is a concept by Royal Loves. As you guys can see it says presented to you the crystalline snowfall glitter frost Halo. I wanted to include a concept as a visual because this one is so beautiful and I thought it would be lovely to include. As you guys can see, this is like a crystallized design. This is absolutely stunning. They've created the back of Halo designs as well, I think, as the top of Halo design. I think this might be a top of Halo design, top of head, sorry. And then this is obviously like a back design. Absolutely stunning. These are so beautiful and obviously a good example of what could be to come. Now, when it comes to the new set, you guys, that is definitely going to end up being high value in this new shop. Obviously, budgeting in this update is going to be hard because everything is going to be so new because it's been a while since we've had a lot of stuff we haven't had a new set in a year so i think people are going to be particularly excited about this new update in terms of how this new set is going to be as an example here's a concept this concept is made by mush and it's actually ai generated so i do want to say you guys to bear that in mind i wouldn't normally share an ai generated thing in a video because obviously that means that the person didn't really do the effort themselves but this person did actually say it was ai generated and didn't try and pass it off as their own so that's the only reason why i'm willing to share it but as you guys can see it is absolutely beautiful the AI did a pretty good job with this but again I do much prefer when I see people's designs that are made properly so I probably won't include AI designs in the future you guys because I think that it takes away from the genuine creativity of real artists but I still want to show you this because it's not really a concept of video and I'm just including it as an idea of something that you never know could well end up being included in a game sometime now obviously you guys there's so much to think about for this new shop and I want you to go into it prepared so do expect it to be expensive you guys raw high has got pricier and pricier over the years so i am expecting thoroughly that this is going to be an expensive update if you are on a budget you may struggle so i definitely suggest you enter all the pageants you possibly can enter all the giveaways you possibly can farming for this update might be difficult unless you have a lot of time to spare now i hope you guys managed to get everything you hope for in this new glitter frost update try not to be too upset if you don't i imagine it's going to be a tough one for everyone involved but i am very much aware that lots of you guys will hopefully still just have fun in this new update and enjoy yourself in everything that's to come thanks so much for watching this video little beans if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell and if you think it will be useful to one of your friends let them know by sharing it with them i think today is the last day that we will have our ad but we will put the ad in the end of this video just to remind you that our charity event is this weekend i love you lots little beans and i hope to see you there thanks for watching everybody i'll see you all soon bye bye Hi, we're Distractions Media, a fun and friendly group of friends who create podcasts, videos, and live streams. This year is our ninth annual 24-hour charity live stream, raising money for children's hospitals through Extra Life. Extra Life is a wonderful charity and fundraising event dedicated to raising money for the Children's Miracle Network, working to give hope, positive experiences, and provide treatment for children in hospitals. On December 2nd, starting at noon Eastern Time, you can join us as we play a variety of games, chat, and generally be silly as we work to meet and hopefully exceed our $1,000 goal for this amazing cause. You can watch us live at twitch.tv slash distractionsmedia and find more information as well as the links to donate at distractionsmedia.com forward slash donate. Just scroll down to the about section below the video player. Please help us by spreading the word about the stream and join us for some fun, chaos, and laughter. On behalf of the children who will benefit from your generosity, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.